Carrie and Keshia are heading high into the mountains of the Massif de Moray, where the bachelor is waiting for them. Hi girls, all right? Hi. I'm uh, so excited about this date today. I are you? Wait, yeah. I feel like a big kid again. Um, we're going to camp out tonight, put up a tent. Put up a tent. Yeah. I'm going to be up there somewhere in the great outdoors. Are you excited or...? Yes. Yeah? Come on in, let's go, this way. I feel like I'm back at school, my backpack. With a hike up the hill ahead of them, it's a chance for Gavin to get to know both girls a little bit better. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that view. It's amazing. That is beautiful, eh? I'm a good dater. Fantastic. That's what I bring you to. It'd be nice to find a girl that's an outdoor type like me. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. It's not a must, but if I can really get on with someone and she's that way inclined, then superb. He jumped on me. He just jumped on me. That's all. No big deal. At the top of the hill, they finally reach camp, a romantic setting deep in the heart of the forest. Whoever gets given a rose will get to spend the night under the stars with the bachelor. Obviously, I know how to put a tent. I do. Well, <laughs> this, is, this is part of the test, you know? <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. You've got to come and help. Did you notice the shovel and toilet roll? I think you should be... Uh, Building the toilet then. So I dig a hole for you? Do I have to make a boys one and a girls one? Oh, okay. Of course. Although I'm so excited by this date, oh. I've also got a massive decision to make to send one of these girls home today. Never sits well with me, but I'm hoping as we play out the day, it'll become obvious to me who I should send home. It's the camping. <laughs> okay. It's a great night. But with just one rose on offer, the bachelor can only choose to keep one girl. The other will be sent home. With a tough decision on the horizon, Gavin takes the opportunity to spend some time alone with each of the girls. First up is 22-year-old PE student Keshia. Last week, she let the bachelor know exactly what she was looking for in a relationship. Your partner should be someone that close to you that you can be like, oh, fuck off, and oh, Okay. <laughs> no, I, I don't want that relationship where we, we talk crudely to one another. I've been down that route before and I don't like it. But despite his reservations, she still received a rose and today has a chance to put their differences to one side. How are you? Are you enjoying the date? Your yeah. kind of thing or? Today I've been so relaxed and just me and just plodding around and just having banter. So you're starting to feel comfortable around me as well? Yeah. Because I am getting feelings, you know, for, for some of you. Uh, you in particular as well. Oh, yeah. 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 It's nice to hear, actually, yeah. after all of our conversations and awkward moments. Mm. So, you came into this to find a relationship then, and how kind of serious relationship do you want? Well, I'm not up for, up for messing around. I'd rather not bother with a guy unless I'm going to put the effort in and do the legwork. But I, I think, if anything, I'm... I'm scared of getting it wrong and putting myself out there and then actually I thought it was good enough and, and it doesn't work. Talk about honest conversation. <laughs> Some of the girls are opening up to me during this process, which I really like, and Kesh is one of them. I'm just not sure how serious she is about being in a serious relationship. You know, she's such a fun girl and she's so chilled out and she loves having banter. And I just question whether she's ready for a serious solution. I'm not sure if that's what she wants. It was nice chat without loads of pressure. That's what it felt like for a change anyway. So I guess it's more it'll come down to whether he wants Carrie to stay more than me and that's nothing I have any control over, is it? So. With night closing in, Carrie's next to spend time alone with the bachelor. And it's a chance to lay her emotions on the line, once and for all. I've got quite a lot I want to explain to Gavin, really. What would be the point in feeling all this for him and then shying away and never telling him? My heart's open and on the line entirely. How's the day gone for you? And to be honest, it's been amazing. It's been the first time, really, that I've got to spend with you, really, and actually hang out. I don't know what you need to know in order to, to make this decision, but um, I am quite romantic and I've got that initial feeling with you and that attraction to you, and I know that I just got this feeling, I can't even put words into it, that we'd fit. So just need to see if you were on the same page, I suppose. 
So is is that what you want in life then to have a serious relationship and go down that route and have kids? God, this sounds really fun to say that. <laughs> no, I know, but when I'm, I'm getting that from you, which is amazing, which is cool. I just think, um, yeah, I want, um, so yeah, someone to be in my life, really. I've just completely opened my heart out to him. It was a nice conversation. I love being with him, but I don't know how he received it. I've got no idea what he's thinking. It's just too soon for it to end for, for me and him right now. I don't know what's going to happen. After speaking to Carrie, I am in a world of pain. I have to make a massive decision. The only question mark I have over Carrie is, I suppose, if there's any real chemistry between us. This is a tough decision. I don't want to get this one wrong. I really don't. It's time for Gavin to reveal which girl he wants to spend the night with and which he is about to send home. This has been a horrific decision for me. I don't know. I uh, really enjoyed both your company. I really couldn't choose between you. You're both, you're both so different. But, you know, I can't think of one negative to say about either of you. The only thing I can go on is that I think I have slightly more chemistry with one of you. So, I'd like to give this rose to Kesha. Will you please accept this rose? Thank you. Thank you. It's okay if I walk you out and just speak to you for a couple minutes. I love you, man. I love you too. Take care, babe. I feel pretty bad about that decision. It's just horrendous. You know, I can't help thinking already, you know, I might have made a massive mistake, but I'm never going to know. So if I just have a hug in my head, sorry. I don't feel a good person at this moment in time. You know, it doesn't sit well with me at all. I think I'm a little bit naive coming into this program, to be honest. My feelings just developed so quickly that I wasn't prepared for this. I changed my entire life and then gave my heart to somebody and I let it throw back in my face. I always fall for the wrong bloke, always. I honestly didn't think he'd send me home tonight. This is starting to get so real, there's, you know, there's real emotions involved here. Oh. That was, that was up to one of the hardest things I've ever had to do.